So my name's Dan Schreiber, and we're here at this beautiful fig tree at Starsea Gardens. And today I wanted to just share with you um, an initiative that Starsea Gardens is launching, which is an outreach initiative called Earth Imagineers. And Earth Imagineers looks at harmonic lever technologies a lever technology would be something that you create a small you put a small amount of energy in and it creates a big change and harmonic of course means that the technologies that we are sharing um, have to fit in with a specific ethos and that ethos is it has to be good for the individual for the community and the greater community in other words the earth itself all all creatures so uh, plants and animals and microbes the first technology that we're looking at unfolding is a solar 3d sand printer and and how that how that's going to work is it's employing large Fresnel lenses um, and it's a, a vehicle that is uh, designed to move through desert sand and as it rolls in the desert as the sun comes up it'll start up there's no actual battery it's just solar panels and those panels will will provide the energy for the wheels to move and as it moves it will it has a scoop in front of the vehicle which will flatten the sand which will become the printing bed and the large lenses will move in a, an X, Y and Z axis to focus the sunlight uh, at a temperature between four to 6,000 degrees and melt the sand into a thick sandy sort of glass and be able to print anything from water tanks to houses to roof tiles to roads, uh, bowls, bars, uh, a myriad of of things and so what this technology will do will make available uh, a vast amount of energy and the way it will do that is not only using the energy of the Sun and this uh, freely available sand but what it will do is it will free up a vast amount of human potential energy so today a lot of people are spending time getting a, a, a degree and and then entering the, the workplace and then maybe borrowing money from a bank to buy a house or a piece of land or both and then spending the next 20 or 30 years of their life maybe paying for not only the building but the maintenance and the upkeep of that dwelling and the land. Now, um, if we could reduce the cost of housing down to almost zero by printing 3D printing houses and all the components of that house, um, not only will it make housing drop to almost zero, but also land, because the land we're talking about using and regenerating will be marginal land on the edge of a desert. And so if we print domes, for example, that will capture any moisture and all the water will be stored in the shade of that dome in a 3D printed water tank, then the access of that water and that shade will enable communities to start making that land, which is virtually free, um, arable and usable. And once that starts, we can reclaim and have used principles of permaculture to reclaim land and start um, a revolution um, with, a, with just using sand and sunlight to create a whole economy